to talk about the Pro Tools menus. Uh, right here in the top, the menus is Pro Tools, File, Edit, View, Track, Regions, Event, Oil Suite, Options, Setup, Windows, and Help. Right here in the top. Let's start with Pro Tools first. Here we have Pro Tools. We can learn all about Pro Tools. We have Preferences. Now these preferences match the same preferences we have here in Setup. And I go right here and you'll see that. See? The same one. So, same menu, two different spots to bring it up from. And we also have services. We have Hide Pro Tools. Now, most everything in Pro Tools has a keyboard command, but the Hide Menu option has none. Let me read that. You have to go right into Pro Tools and hide it. We have Hide Others. So, we have several applications open. We can hide the other applications. But in Pro Tools, I prefer to have nothing else going on at the same time. It'll make it much easier for you to run the software. We can show all applications, and we can quit Pro Tools. The next thing we have here is File. Now here in File, we can do a new session, we can open a session, and we can open a recent session. As you can see here, the list is already populated with uh, several different sessions I've had in the past. And I can go to here and press Clear, and we go back to hit Open a Session. And see, recent's open, recent's gone. It's all gone. Because I press Clear, that means nothing's in the memory bank, so we'll populate a list of my old sessions. We have closed sessions, so I can close the session now and reopen it. Next below that, we have our commands within the session. We can do save. I can save the session. I can save the session as something else. I'm going to save it as a different session. Oh, I call it, you know, tonight's session. I'll save it as a different copy of it and export it for someone else. I can save a copy in. So I can save this, a copy of this in someplace else. I can save it as a template. So we can make a template, you saw earlier when I had the quick start menu came up, there were options for several different templates. Well, I can save the session as a template. When I go back to doing a new session, I can look for the template, bring it back up, and it's a template I want to use. We can revert, we can send via digital delivery. And now below here we have bounce to disks. Now this is very important, we use it a lot later on. When we're through mixing a song or through mastering a song, you may want to bounce the overall project back out. You know, the entire thing, like this MP3 file or this file you want to burn for a CD if you're doing, still doing CDs or whatever, or just make a file that we can use later on. We'll bounce the disk with this option. We can also import session data. Now, this is very important to understand. Here in the importing session data, we can import data, or we can actually import data from another, let's say, um, Pro Tools session. It could be LE and you're doing HD. We want to import this data into the session so we can use it for, I guess, building tracks or setting up a certain audio track. So you got a vocalist did some tracks. You want to say, okay, wait, I want to bring that vocalist tracks in. We import the data, we bring the track in, and what this allows us to do is to get separate data information we can import into our Pro Tools session. We can also import audio. We can import MIDI files. We can import video. We can overlay video on the track and get our video to go along with the track. Put background music, put little effects, so when the gun goes off, or the girls running through the woods, we can do that here. We can also import region groups. Now below that we have export. Now here we have, we can do selected tracks as new AAF or OMF. Now these selected tracks we can export as. It sort of puts it into this timeline was X and Y axis at the start of the session and the end of the session. And it gives us the ability to export these tracks for other softwares like Digital Performer, uh, Reasons, and anything else you want to use. It's really cool. In case you want to send the session to someone else and they have a different software, we can export it as an OMF file. Now below here in export we have MIDI, so we can export the MIDI information. And of course we can also export session info as text. Get info, and we can score set up. I'm going to talk here more about this. This is the edit menu. Now here in the edit menu, I can do undo and do. So I can have a track. Let's say, as you can see, I have an undo, unmute regions. I can do that, and they're back to being mute again. Or I can go back to here again and say, well, redo it. And see, the command for that is shift, command, Z. So you can see also we have a list of keyboard commands that go in most of these items here, as you can see. 
and it's good to memorize them after a while. I forget to use the most popular ones. It makes it easy for you to work through Pro Tools. Now below here we have Restore Last Selection. Here we have Cut, Copy, Clear. We have special commands here like Cut, and this is for All Automation or Pan Automation. And let's deal with the functions in the Mixer section where I can cut the automation, I can copy the automation, I can clear the automation. See? Let me just drag it over here and you can select whichever command you want to use. And these commands do not have keyboard commands, you can see. Now below this we have select all, which is obvious. I can select everything in that particular window or that track or the region, whatever. We have select this below that. Play edit and play timeline. And here we can duplicate a region, we can repeat that same duplication, and we have shift, and here we have the insert silence. So in this case, I can grab a region, I can say, well, put silence right there. And see, it's all gone, look at that. Wow, I did that, it's bad, I want to get it back. Undo, it's right back. Okay? And I can shift that region if I want, I can shift it over. We'll see, and it gives us a shift. It gives us a shift menu. We can shift it earlier, later. We can shift it by the beats and bars, by minutes, by a simple time code setting, by feet and frames for film, or by a sample, or use subframes. So I can shift this one region over just a little bit. So I can shift it by this much, bam, and it shifts. That way I may want to get it to fit perfect in the track. Rather than grabbing it, I want to shift it more accurately by using that shift method. Okay, we go back down to here, that's shift. We're gonna go to insert sound, we did already. We're gonna separate region. Well, look at this, on the grid or at transients. So here, for example, I've got a region. I'll make it bigger. And we can see a little better here. I'll scroll back a little bit more here. Let me get it over here. And I can go right here, matter of fact, let's see. So I can go here. And switch it out across. That's a little better right there. I can say, well, look, I got a region here, and let's go back to edit here. And I want to separate the grid at zero. Well, I'll make it like uh, five milliseconds. Well, look at that. <laughs> Everything's gone, right? I can go to undo. Not very good, right? So I go back to here. And I got the transients. Let's do that separate transients. Let's go back to here. Uh huh. And it separates them with the transients. Let's see here. And you can see them. See it's all separated right there? That's a really small amount. Let's say for five milliseconds. Let's close to another bottom here. And we can do that right there within the track. I can undo it. Now, I can consolidate a region. Let's say, for example, I've got a region here, and it's, oh, there's a couple edits in the region, let's say right here, and I want to say, well, I'll cut this up, and let's say, that's there, I want to consolidate that. I can go back to here and say, consolidate region. And it, it, it did it, totally. I can undo, and undo again, I'm back where we started because this is non-destructive editing. That means I'm, I can do this forever. I can chop it up, paste it back again, chop it up into tiny little pieces, but that one main track will always be there, one region. This region right here will always be there. If it's not here, it'll be right here. See, it's right there. It's in my region list. This is so cool. See, region list right there. So it's right there, no matter what. So in non-destructive editing, we can keep chopping up, cutting up, and pasting it back in and if we want to go back to the original one, we can find the original region and put it right back where it's supposed to be. Now here, below that, we have mute region. I can mute it. Now, it won't play at all. It's totally muted. Back here, undo. So you can see here in Pro Tools, there are many options we can do with any region at all, or cut a track out, you know, special animation, and this is all right here in the edit list. We have strip silence and we have thin in automation. And of course we can create fades. 
get back here. Let's say I want to make a fade from here to here. Okay, let's try a fade. We'll go to here, create fades. Now it gives a list, create a fade. And I get the option of what kind of fade I want to use. I just for now, select it, and we've got a fade in. See that? Undo right here. 